Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I built a shell from scratch using Rust. In case you're not familiar, a shell is the program your terminal is running when you open it. For instance, if I want to list all of the files in a directory, I can type the ls command instead of manually having to look around. When building the shell, I followed an interactive course from the site called CodeCrafters. This challenge is free to attempt while in beta, and I can recommend giving it a go as you get automated tests whenever you push changes to your project, letting you know if it worked or not. <sighs> Complete. oh. <laughs> No, it failed! I thought I saw some green. Expected prompt to be printed. Got nothing. Okay, so first off, let's print a prompt. Now, before we do that, I would like to mention that this was actually the very first time I ever touched Rust. So the code you're about to see might be blinding. Next up, we will handle missing commands. So what happens if you type some gibberish and the command is not recognized? Okay, so let's look at how we implement this. We start by creating a vector of known commands, which as of now, I'll just start with the exit command. I then gather user input and separate between the command and arguments. So by doing this, I would be able to enter both a command here and an argument here. Next up, I check whether the input command does not exist in our array of commands. And if it does not exist, I will say command not found. And boom, with that, I can open my shell, give a command and see that the command does not exist. So yeah, great progress. Next up, we will implement the read evaluate print loop. This proved to be easy enough as all I had to do is wrap the section around the gathering of user input in a loop. And if I now go ahead and compile and run this, I can enter dumb commands over and over again. And uh, yeah, it works. I then powered through the next stages, implementing the exit command, the echo command, and also the type command. Next up, I wanted to extend the type command so that it would search for executables in a given environment variable when something other than a shell built-in was given as an argument. Doing this proved to be somewhat of a headache simply because I know absolutely nothing of Rust and juggling around with the path environment variable string was a bit confusing. But I ended up with something like this. Running the tests. Watch it become green. Let's fucking go. All tests passed. I knew it. Mark stage as complete. Next up, I wanted to implement the functionality of actually running a program. And this actually proved to be super easy in Rust. I simply check the items in the given path and search for any executables with the same name as the input command and use command new with the given path to run it. Also, passing any arguments was super easy since I already had these. As an example, I can show you how I would use the cat file to check what this test file contains. I will start up the shell and then I can run cat, which is found inside of bin and then give test file as an argument and it's going to say crab. Okay, so the base of the project is now complete and I continue with the navigation extension. So as of right now, this is the only available extension for the build your own shell challenge. But if you go to CodeCrafters, you can actually join in and vote on the future extensions that they are going to create. Anyways, implementing the print working directory command was actually super simple in Rust. And after doing the first step of the change directory command, I actually kind of randomly found out that it already supported using relative paths. Lastly, I also added support for the tilde symbol to be used in the change directory command. And boom, the entire challenge was already complete. <laughs> okay, so now that the shell is complete, I guess it is time to compare it with the current competition. So on my left here, I have spawned an instance of 
ZCH or C shell, I think people also call it. And I have configured it using oh my C shell. Now, disclaimer, this test is super random. And I guess the only thing I'm testing is how fast a new prompt appears. And given that my implementation is done entirely in Rust and have very little boat around it, I think we're gonna have a good shot. So, oh my C shell first, I'm gonna hit enter. And we can actually see a noticeable delay, which is why I switched to fish a couple of years ago. So this is a prompt ready using the fish shell. And let's compare this. So yeah, that's noticeable, noticeable faster actually compared to C shell. But now, lastly, we will try the custom shell. Let's go. Instant. Do you see this speed? This is unmatched. And, uh, <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. My shell, kind of limited. I don't even <laughs> have the ls command and it crashes and stuff. But you know what? We're on our way. And this is, of course, not something I'm going to be using every day. But it was still super fun to try out the Code Crafters challenge. Also, yeah, fun trying out Rust. I mean, I don't really have any use cases for it at the moment. But still fun to try out. So, yeah, might be doing more of... Uh more rust in the future, who knows. And lastly, if you're interested in seeing the entire process of me building the project, two entire recordings are available on my Patreon, which I recently launched, as well as a super secret setup tour. And I have a bunch more stuff coming in the next days and weeks. So yeah, I think it's gonna be super fun over there. Check it out. And yeah, that basically wraps up this video. So if you liked it, throw in a sub and I'll see you next time. Pew.